Alright, so what are you getting done, bro? It's like a table fade, uh -huh. and kind of like blending the sides like together. So the okay. kind of like, you know, blends it together. I want to keep the C cup as well. Okay. And on the top, I want to like grow it out more. Do you want me to trim it at all, make sure it's even? I mean, you can. Yeah, yeah whatever you think looks best. But okay. I kind of just want to grow it out completely. All right, and when you say like a taper fed, what number do you want to start off with? Like a, maybe a one. Like a one? Yeah, kind of like, yeah, like a nice bl blend out. But I just kind of want to keep some hair right here. So that yeah. Way goes, you know, I, I'm thinking a one and a half would be better because it would yeah. stay dark. You know what I mean? Dark enough to where that taper would pop. Okay. And then we can keep the C cup real nice, line it up in the back, but it'll be shorter in this area. For sure, for sure. Yeah, that works? whatever you think, yeah. Whatever you okay, think. and are you going to line up the front? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. YouTube, what is going on, guys? We're going to start off this haircut, cutting the top. He cuts his own hair. He's a barber. Um, but he cut his own hair on top, so I just wanted to make sure it was even. And so we're just kind of cutting straight lines, get removing any peaks and valleys, and just making sure that the the haircut's gonna grow back, grow out nicely, because that's the plan. He's gonna grow it out, kind of do like a pomp or comb over type vibe, type of uh, cut. And so that's what we're gonna prep this haircut to do in the future. All right, so once we've cut the top, we're gonna go ahead and start to fade him out. I'm gonna start off with a one and a half, one and a half, I'm sorry, one guard open. And that's gonna be enough for my initial guideline. I'm only gonna go up slightly up. I, I wanna have space um, to create a gradient fade with a one open. In order to do that, I need some, like a level of darkness at the top of the side of his head. Um, not just that, but I, I, I want the taper to stick out. Like he said he wanted a one close. I asked him if he'd be good with a one open. We looked at it. He said he was fine with that. And I just think that that was a good call because it's going to make the taper, the, the, the blowout, whatever you guys call it, um, stand out more. So now my next step is a two guard open because that's what I typically do with a fade anyways after a one guard open. And then I'll start to blend that section out. Um, after this number three guard that I'm going all the way open and you can see right away it just kind of blends into the side the top of the sides and then we'll close it underneath that to really create that transition going into that two open that we previously did Now on this side, you can see his hair grows forward. It grows towards his eyebrows pretty much. And so we gotta make sure that we're going against the grain and that's why you can see I'm slightly tilting my clipper over to the right so I can get a nice clean cut against the grain. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start blending out that number two area. And I'm starting off with my one and a half guard all the way open. And I'm closing it little by little until that bottom guideline is gone. If you accidentally create another guideline above the area you're working on, you could just slap a number two guard closed on there to, to go ahead and spread that line of demarcation you might have created. Like I'm about to do right here. Let me see if y'all can see it. All right, you guys see that little line? I think, I think you can see the line. Um, we know we got to take that out after we're done blending out this bottom line. And that'll probably be done with that number two guard like I was talking about. And here we go. This is the number two guard closed going into that area where the line was created. And I'm going to blend down from there. But for the most part, that number two did its job. We'll detail it a little bit more later. But I love how this played out because um, I kind of was just speaking on it. And then I, I was able to show you an example. And I don't remember this part. So because I pre-record. Obviously, I, this isn't a live voiceover. I pre-record the haircut. And then I kind of... Um, analyze and speak on it afterwards all right so from this angle it's a little tough because you can definitely see um different densities and stuff in the hair and so i gotta make sure that there's a nice gradient blend especially in this area i'm working on now so i'm gonna start off with my highest guard with my number three and blend down from there just to make sure 
I can work all that out. All right, now above that three open guard, just to soften things up um, in the transition area into the top, I'm gonna go with my blending shears, and this is not to take length off, this is literally just to take out any lines you might see, or any choppiness you might see, just any texture you don't want in there. This, this tool right here will blend it out. It will cut length too if you cut enough times in the same spot, um, but primarily what you want to use these tools for is for blending. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start our initial guideline for the taper. Starting off with my trimmers, now blade all the way open as my next guideline. And I'm going to close my clipper up, start at the bottom guideline here and open it little by little, probably one or two notches until it's blended out. Then we can move on to our next um, guard and uh, I'll walk you through that. All right, so because we started off with a one guard open and then a one and a half guard above that, I went ahead and skipped all that, the one open I typically would do, and I went to the half guard all the way open, and now I'm just gonna, you know, detail in, kind of test the waters. So the one, the half guard open wasn't really doing it for me. I felt like there was too much of a disconnect there. So I went ahead and grabbed that one guard all the way closed, just to spread this area out just a tad bit more and then we could fade down like so with the half guard after the fact all right you guys remember we had a two about this area so there's one and a half guard between the one and a half guard and swapping back to the one guard we should be able to create a nice transition here. All right, we'll go ahead and start the back now. Start with our initial guideline. Blade all the way open. And start to take that bottom line out. Clipper was closed, then a notch open then probably halfway and then all the way and that section should be blended now we can go to our one guard all the way open all right now right beneath that one guard open we're working our half guard and you could you could always go like I typically like to go halfway open underneath that one guard but like if you want to play it safe start off all the way open and close it little by little right and then by the time you're all the way closed this area should be completely blended My guy in the chair here, man, he was a cool dude. Um, definitely um, a, a passionate barber. He got his cosmetology license. He's going back to school to get his barber's license. Um, and uh, yeah, he's just, he, he, he's a hungry dude. He just signed up for the academy. Um, I'm, I'm definitely following him, see how, how his growth goes, cheering him on. All right, so blade all the way open, clipper closed, one notch open, halfway open. And then probably three quarters open should blend this section out. Remember, this side of his head grows a different hair growth pattern. It's going towards his eyebrows. So, you, so that's why we're attacking everything at with the clipper kind of tilted so that it's against the grain. So we did the one open. Now we're at the half guard open, closing it little by little. And it's blended. So now we can start to detail the area. And uh, just like the other side, we grab our one and a half guard and start to blend above the one open guard. Now this part was a little tough for me. You can see a line there and I didn't know why that line just wouldn't come out. Um, but all we did was we kind of retraced our steps and faded from that number three to that two to that one and a half, specifically in that area to try to fix, to try to fix it.
All right, so that side of the taper is done. And now I wanted to prep his front hairline because he likes his front hairline lined up. But I also know that he plans on having like a pomp, comb over type of deal. And his hair kind of naturally does uh, shift to, the, to his right. So all I'm doing is going between against the grain and, and with the grain to, to soften it. That's all I'm doing to prepare for the lineup. We're going to start the lineup, my favorite part to start it, and that's in the nape area. Making sure it's nice and crispy, regardless if it has enhancements. But I could tell he likes enhancements, which means he needs enhancements. All right, so with the C cup, I was trying to keep it as natural as possible, but his hair grows um, extremely, you know, to the left like that. So we, I figured we got to get a little cosmetic, not crazy cosmetic, to get this C cup as sharp as possible without color. But he still needs color. You understand? I'm like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm very cautious in the back of the ear. The worst thing I, I, I could, I fear, bro, is bringing behind the ear up too high. Man, so I'm, I'm slow when I'm lining up above the ear. All right, so he has his fringe that, that grows straight down. So instead of trying to fight gravity, um, I lined it, I lined up that fringe. And then we did a little bit of a freehand, or not freehand, uh, trimmer over comb. Again, to soften his hairline area up, especially with this hair texture, um, to prepare for this lineup. Now, his natural hairline is super, like, condensed. Makes his forehead super small. And the first thing he said to me in the chair um, that I, I don't think I caught was, I don't, like, I like my hairline pushed back a little bit. I was like, what? I didn't get it at first, but pretty much what he's saying is, you don't have to keep it so natural that my forehead looks like a toddler's forehead. Um, I'm okay with you um, going back a little bit to make it symmetrical and to make, you know, to make my hairline look a little bit more not so closed. I, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain that. But you guys get what I'm saying. There's kids that literally their hairline. Their ver left vertical bar almost connects with their right vertical bar. <laughs> so, guys, you guys saw the entire process before the color. Now we're going to add some color. But you saw the whole process. You know the cut look good without the color. I thought it did. We just, But we just going to get it to the next level using 245 No Drip, the Get Bean, compressor the xl you get 245.com we're just trying to get the cut to the next level man and then for everybody that says it's just gonna sweat out or it's gonna drip all over your face um I'm, i just put wet shave gel all over his hairline i lined it up with the razor and everything was okay all right now we're gonna style the hair he's never used clay he always uses hair gel but he he really liked the clay so and i think it it, it brought out the texture in his hair and i, I think it, it it did great so this is the before here's the after guys you can see the lineup you can see the comb over i like this angle right here comb over coming to life um see the taper close shot tape in the back close shot blurry The shape is there. It's full around the Prado Ridge. It's full around the crown. Um, I think the cut came out good. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Smash the like button. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we drop daily content. Every single day, we're dropping something that has to do with the barber industry, whether it's the entrepreneurial side, it's the lifestyle side. You're trying to learn how to do a blurry fade, some scissor work. We drop it all, guys. So make sure you're subscribed. Love y'all, and I will see y'all on the next video.